Hi everyone, it's Helen Horta here, founder of FormHelp, and we are on the smarttraveler.gov.au website, and we are doing a smart traveler advice update for the beautiful country of Hong Kong. So let's get straight into reading the latest update. So this was updated today, the 31st of Jan 2022, and the latest update reads, Hong Kong has suspended flights from numerous countries, including Australia. Now passengers who have been in these countries for more than two hours, within 14 days before arrival are not permitted to board a flight to Hong Kong. So from the 5th of Feb, the compulsory quarantine period for inbound travellers has been reduced from 21 days to 14 days. Now travellers will be required to quarantine in a designated quarantine hotel for 14 days followed by a further 7 days of self-monitoring. So see the travel uh, section down below dual citizenship is no longer recognized in the hong kong special administrative region following the application of the nationality law of the people's republic of china so see the local laws below um, as previously advised hong kong's national security law could be interpreted broadly and you could actually break the law without intending to so if you're concerned about the new law reconsider your need to remain in hong kong and then see uh, local laws um, the the information below now the australian government does advise exercise a high degree of caution in in hong kong due to the impacts of COVID-19. And again, um, the advice level is exercise a high degree of caution. And the note here says, pay close attention to your personal security and the current health situation, and monitor the media for new and existing risks. And again, um, there is more information below for you to read, and I will place a link in the description box below. And that is, the latest travel updates from the Australian government. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for listening and keep safe everyone.